Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your ConvertKit account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you sell your digital product on ConvertKit? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to sell your digital product through ConvertKit anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to have a place that you can sell your digital products and fulfill them immediately. And ConvertKit is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your ConvertKit account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my ConvertKit account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to list a product for sale, what you're going to do is click on earn here on the top in the blue line. Once you do that, you're going to see these four options and you want to click on products. It has like a, I guess a red suitcase next to it. All right. Once you do that, you're going to see all of the different products that you have inside ConvertKit. If you don't have any, you're going to see this red button here called create a product. You can click there or you can click on this one here on the top right called new product. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and list your digital product for sale on ConvertKit. First thing you want to do is go ahead and name the product. All right. So for me, I'll go ahead and name this. Okay. And next you want to go ahead and choose the product type. They do let you know that up here that you can change the product name and the price later, but you cannot change the product type pricing or method or the currency. So the product type for me is going to be a product right here on the left. If you're selling a subscription, you can click this one and then click next. Okay. Next you want to choose the type of price for this particular product. You can do a fixed price. You can let the customers choose how much they want to pay or you can split the payments up. For me, I'm going to do standard and then we're just going to name this one $100. Now, if you're selling something where you're going to have maybe two or three orders in one order, like maybe like a physical product, then you want to choose this. And that way your customers can choose. They want one product, two products, you know, three or whatever. For me, I'm selling a digital product. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Next, you want to go ahead and choose the currency. Most of my viewers are in dollars. So I'll go ahead and leave that. If not, you'll want to choose one of these currencies. Unfortunately, if you don't see your country or your currency there, then the earn section is probably not available in your country at this time. So you'll need to message ConvertKit to see if it's available or when it's going to be available. So I'm going to click next. Okay. Now you need to disclose how your customers are going to receive their product. Are they going to receive a digital download, a newsletter, or some sort of service that so you're maybe you're going to call them. So for my product, I'm going to go ahead and just do a digital download. If you switch into something else, you can see the download disappears. Okay. So for a digital product, what you're going to do is go ahead and upload the file that would be fulfilled once they've made the payment. So just click on upload a file. Okay. Next you can see the PDF has been uploaded and I'm going to click on next. Okay. So now if you have more than one custom domain with convert kit, you want to go ahead and choose it. So for me, I only have the one right here, make money, Anthony, but let's say I had another completely different custom domain for selling hamburgers. Uh, I don't want to choose that one. I want to choose this one that's related to the product that I'm going to be selling. And then next down here, you can go ahead and change the page URL. So make sure that you have something that is related to the product that you're going to be selling. It automatically populates right here as the name of the product. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. But if you want to change it, you can easily just delete it as you see right there. And then you're going to click on create product. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start editing the landing page. So you can see the price is already automatically input. The name of the product is right here and here you can go ahead and just type in a description. So I'm just do something like learn how to make money on YouTube with this framework. It looks pretty good. If you want to change the font, you can do that by clicking on general styles and then you can go ahead and change the font right here. So we'll change it to something called Montserrat. I guess that looks pretty cool. And you can also change the background if you want to do that and you can change the colors around. For me, it looks pretty good. Obviously I don't have a picture of my digital product. So what you want to do is click right here and then click on replace here on the top, right? Now you can go ahead and upload an image from your computer. If you don't have a good image for your digital product, you can go on Fiverr and then give them the requirements and they can give you a high quality image of your digital product, whatever it is you're selling. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose this picture. And as you can see, it updates immediately, but you're not done until you click on publish here on the top, right? Okay. Next, they let you know what the URL is. So you can go ahead and copy the URL. If you have a discount code you want to include for some of your subscribers, you can go ahead and add there. But now we have the URL, so we can just copy it and close this down and then we'll save this. And let me go back to the products. Okay. Now you can see my digital product is listed for sale on convert kit. So we can go ahead and post in our URL for our digital product in our YouTube channel, a Facebook post, or however you normally share your product links. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to sell your digital product using convert kit, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.